Hi, this is Joshua Stern with the Stern team at Keller Williams. So my goal is to keep you educated about all things real estate so you have the ability to make great decisions when it comes to your own home selling, buying, and investing, uh, investing goals. Today's topic is three things to consider before buying real estate with a self-directed IRA. So again, thank you for watching the video blog. And before we get started, I just wanted to point out two quick features on the site just to the right. First is a really great tool that you can use to get a free home evaluation instantly on your home. And then secondly is our buyer site link that's gonna bring you to real-time listings of all homes from all brokerages across the entire Wasatch Front. Now back to our topic, buying Utah real estate with a self-directed IRA. So the IRS permits retirement accounts like IRAs to invest in real estate amongst other options, right? There are lots of advantages to using a self-directed IRA or a solo 401k plan to buy real estate. The first is tax deferral or tax-free growth. See, if you purchase a piece of property with retirement funds for $250,000 and later sold the property for $450,000, well, the $200,000 gain appreciation would generally be tax-deferred. Now, alternately, if you purchased an investment property using personal funds, non-retirement funds, the gain would be subject to federal and Utah state income tax. Second, a self-directed IRA can allow you to invest in hard assets that you know and understand, such as rental property or even a piece of land. Finally, having the ability to invest in alternative assets outside of the traditional stock market is believed to be a great source of investment diversification. So before using a self-directed IRA uh, to buy real estate, there's some important items that I want you to consider. Number one, get your research done ahead of time. Do your due diligence on the real estate asset your IRA will be purchasing, right? Get familiar with the locality, the rental rates that are in the area, and then understand the costs involved with purchasing and holding real estate as an investment. Number two, price matters. You see, unlike the stocks or mutual funds, which typically don't have ongoing costs, real estate has ongoing costs like maintenance, insurance, and of course, property taxes. So it's vital you purchase a real estate asset your IRA can afford. I always kept a three-month reserve account put aside for each long-term rental I held to cover vacancy and repairs. Okay, number three, IRA custodian options. Most traditional financial institutions and banks don't allow IRA holders to buy real estate with their IRA since it doesn't generate a profit for the institution. However, there are a number of special self-directed IRA custodians in Utah and throughout the U.S. that allow their clients to make alternative investments like real estate. So when you purchase real estate with a self-directed IRA, an IRA holder has generally two options. One, a custodian-controlled self-directed IRA, or two, a checkbook-controlled self-directed IRA. So with a custodian-controlled uh, IRA, the holder will direct the IRA custodian to invest the IRA funds into traditional as well as alternative asset investments like real estate. The checkbook controlled uh, uh, IRA requires a special, or custodian rather, requires a special purpose LLC be established which would uh, be wholly owned by the IRA and managed by the IRA holder through a local bank account. The use of the LLC allows the IRA holder to act quickly when the right investment opportunity presents itself, cost effectively as well, and without IRA custodian delay, which is important in today's hot market. The custodian controlled self-directed IRA option is often used by IRA investors looking to make alternative asset investments that don't involve a high frequency of transactions such as raw land or an investment fund. While a checkbook controlled uh, self-directed IRA is popular for IRA investors interested in making real estate investments involving a high frequency of transactions such as rental properties or fix and flips or tax liens and hard money loans. See, Using a self-directed IRA to buy real estate continues to grow in popularity, but IRA holders seeking to use retirement funds to invest in real estate must be mindful of the five items outlined above and should consult with a tax professional for further guidance. If you have any questions about buying or selling real estate, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email.